I feel so small. I feel so small and unimportant. I've never felt more like a little bunny rabbit than I do right now when standing next to the enormous. Oh my gosh, he's always there to interrupt, isn't he? Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Modded Survival, where yesterday we killed and tamed the one and the only Mr. Fist of the Destroyer, one of the final Pugnacia bosses that we were really getting around to. And by final, I, I guess t necess not necessarily one of the final, but um, one of the final easy ones, because from here, here it is all downhill downhill from me and my survival chances uphill for the excitement of the series because we are about to start facing some of the craziest bosses this mod has to offer and no i'm not talking about these raptors but they can go and get taken down as well piles of trash where, where do they even come from and the raptors don't normally like roam around these parts but all right, yeah, none of my business, none of my business. Anyways, though, uh, we are back at uh, base over here. And today I was thinking what we can do with a big old Mr. Fister over here is throw him to the wolves. Or in this case, I guess the spine breakers. We're going we're gonna to go and we're going to go and try and fight one of these crazy bosses with him. Because I think that's pretty much where we're at. Things are going to get nasty, probably really bad. Is it time for me to get out of this Easter Bunny suit? It's getting pretty hot and sweaty. Probably. Guys, before I get too far into it, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think it's time. But actually, no. You know what? I'll wait. Because if we do succeed at taking down some of these next level bosses, we will be able to get ourselves, I think it's the Vulcan set of armor. It's basically like the Vulcan set of armor which we currently have which looks like this except it is kind of like tech infused it's half volcano half tech that's what we're currently working towards it'd be awesome once we get there but we got a few steps to go before we get there anyways so let me just quickly drop some uh little little thingy bobbies off here we've actually done a lot of the work to get us to the next step in getting another one of these bosses by the way we just happened to go on a bit of a killing spree killed a couple extras yesterday and we are three energies away from summoning in another one which is crazy because that wasn't ever really part of the plan, but yeah, I guess we, we kind of got a little bit ahead of ourselves and we did a little bit of extra work. What can I say? It's always, always good to do a little bit extra, isn't it? Except when it comes to building bases, because currently we're living in this, <laughs> this tiny little... What are we even doing with bases this series? I honestly think I'm very, very close to just jumping up on this guy and building something up here. And by building something, just putting everything up here, including my dinosaurs. And then we can be like... Howl's Moving Castle. That's what the anime is called, right? The, the Studio Ghibli. The Ghibli Studio. The old anime. The classic. I don't know. I've never actually watched it. Maybe I should Maybe I should watch it. Anyways, let's actually have a look at who is left and who we actually haven't even faced yet because there's a few of them out there. We still got to take on Skarna. He's like the crazy metallic scorpion who just knocks everything out with poison. We have Spinebreaker. We visited him yesterday. Oh, I forgot about you. How could I forget about the third track? Maybe we focus on... You know what? All right. Maybe we're not quite ready to be taken on like the craziest of the crazies. Maybe we should just start out with a regular boss. And then if we do happen to beat that, then we'll turn our attention to something a little bit crazy. Okay. That sounds like a good idea, I think. Now, let me go and open up my scanner. That is not my scanner. This is my scanner. Let's have a look at what's out there. Let's see if we got one. We have the third track. At 75 80s, of course, is in the desert. In fact, I think I remember actually flying past him at some point. In fact, I might be able to teleport out there right this second. Yes, I've got a teleporter right next to it. All right, let's go. So I just want to have a little bit of a scour around the place just to make sure that there's nothing too crazy around. Is that a dodo wyvern? No, it's a corrupted fire wyvern. Okay. Looks a little bit Dodo Wyvern-esque, doesn't it? Although that is a primal. That's a primal Archie. What are you doing out here, buddy? All right, bam. Get punched. <laughs> yes, the one-shotting everything around us continues. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I can't even remember which direction we're meant to be running in, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we encounter the third trick or some giant manticores that I want nothing to do with or a giant death worm. How you doing, mate? Goodbye. <laughs> oh, we're untouchable. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ah, oh, can, no, can always have faith in the power of the, the human fist. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, where is this Triceratops? That's a beautiful looking little mantis. 
Now it's a beautiful looking dead mantis. <laughs> so silly. All right. Uh, let me whip out the scanner. We'll just double check the location of what we are looking for. He is at 7580. All right. He's a little bit of a ways from here then. Let's, um, I, I guess it's going to be this way. No, it's going to be this way. All right. Southeasterly. 7580. Yep. Oh, well, oh, is that it? I see a, I see a health bar. Yeah, that is it. Oh, gosh. All right. Hold on. Hold on. The only thing I'm not sure about is these RGs. Wait, they won't. Am I right? I can't remember. We, we, uh, some of these magical bosses dismount us. And I, I don't really feel like testing them, seeing if they dismount me. So I'm going to try and avoid them. And if they, you know, creep up on me and I don't spot them, then so be it. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But anyways, we are going down there. I see my little... Great. The Manticore overspawns are beginnings. Well, let's get in and out before they get too rowdy, shall we? You know what? Let's just drop a little one of these bad boys. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I got dismounted. Oh, we we're in trouble. Oh, we we're in trouble. Go, 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 go. Go. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, passive. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Where's my guy? Where's my guy? Ah! I'm no! Go away! Okay, not good, not good. All right, I'm kind of... I've got health. I've, I've got health. I don't plan on dying, but my dude over there is going ham on the manticore. I hope he's got enough. You know what? Maybe I'll just play distraction. I'll just play distracting games. We'll just distract everyone. I'm bleeding, apparently. Don't die. You're bleeding. Okay. No! <laughs> Mr. Fisting got killed. I didn't even get to use him. No! No! What a joke! What a joke! What a joke! Just let me out of here! Let me out of here! No! No, 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 no! Oh, that is a joke! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. I can't save it. Oh my gosh. I actually had faith in him. I actually thought he might be able to... Oh, what a horrible way to begin an episode. Especially one that involves... Okay, well, our superhuman, I guess, ain't the, like, death of all dinosaurs like I thought he was going to be. That is so upsetting. I, I'm... I'm... Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm in pain. I feel it. It hurts. It really hurts. Oh, man. Oh, that actually hurts so much. I'm... Oh... Oh, I'm devastated, man. <laughs> I, I mean, he was cool. He was the bestest. Oh, I'm at you. I'm. Oh gosh, man. Just when I thought things were looking up, we would we were making progress. We were doing things. Also, hey, 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 hey. Oh, I can't do anything with him, anyways. I left my manticore in that mountain yesterday. I completely forgot to send him home. Um, anyways. Um, yes. Damn, man, we are just... We have a terrible track record, don't we? We have a ridiculously bad track record. There's my dude. You're the one I wanted to fight. Man, if I couldn't even... If he couldn't even take on that Manticore, then what chance did we have? He was never going to take on Spinebreaker, which means we need to give it some more thought as to who is going to do that for us. Uh, for now, let me get my items back. Uh, Moth... Oh, no, I just realized Moth was going to get dismounted. I should be on my manticore. Uh, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so basically what we've determined is whatever is going on with these RG minions and the manticores, whatever, um, they will dismount us from everything except for our manticore, including poor Mothra up here. All right, they were just despawned at least, so that's nice. All right, I'm just going to dip down here. I'm going to activate this. I'm going to use my advanced transfer tool, attach it to everything, and we're just going to we're just going to collect it all. Everything. I wish there was a button that allowed you to just pick up everything, by the way. I, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. Either way, transfer it all to me. All right, I'm not setting foot on that floor right this second, but we've got all that stuff back, including my bunny suit. So now I'm like nice and warm because I was getting a little bit cold in the desert, you know? <laughs> Anyways, while we're out here, do we just take on the stinking trike? Well, like, try to at least. I don't really know. Wait, what's he give me? He gives me the volcanic... Oh, the trike helmet. Yes. All right, I forgot about that. Oh, no, I got grounded. That's okay. I got health potions. Um, he's summoning his little... Oh, we got the... Oh, oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I know. Okay, all right. Um, We actually dealt a few million damage, I think. But now we're in. Uh, now we're getting. We're getting. We're getting bugged by his little friends. 
All right. So the giant turkey. Oh, they're actually fighting it out themselves. So, ooh, okay, good. Yeah, you guys go your hardest, eh? Yeah, you guys do what you gotta do. These ancient turkeys are a pain in the backside, so I have no issues seeing him off. Um, I don't really know who's fighting who. Yeah, these are, they launch missiles and they, they really, really hurt. We haven't really faced any of them, but in previous playthroughs of the Pugnation mod, these turkeys have traumatized me before I've gotten like too powerful. Somehow we got really powerful really quickly this series. I have no idea what has caused this series to just like, we're 30 episodes in. I'm never this far in at 30 episodes. It really is crazy, um, but I like it. It's good. It's good. Anyways, let's try this again, shall we? Let's try this again. Oh, the turkey's still alive. I thought the turkey was dead. All right, let's finish the turkey off for a start. And then we'll focus on the trike and his little friends. So, little trikey buddy here. He is the third trike after all. He actually summons in the first and second trikes. And then he summons in a couple of as well. I don't know the lore or the myth behind these guys, um, but together, they do pack a punch. They do pack a punch, as you can see by my health bar. Very quickly deteriorating right this second. But we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. This should be an easy victory, I think think i hope maybe not i don't know we're already halfway down in health and we've only got him down nine million ten million ish about a quarter of the way not bad but not great either uh unfortunately i can't fly i'd like to use my little gas cloud because my gas cloud is one of my strongest attacks but he ain't let me so we'll just use health potions and keep on biting and keep on i don't know zapping and we'll just do what we're doing because it's somewhat working i suppose yeah Kind of working. I want his helmet. Oh, I'm in the air. Yes, yes. Use the gas cloud. Use the gas cloud. Yes. Lovely. Lovely work in there, Mothra. I love it. Love it, buddy. I love it. I love it. You know what I don't love? The fact I lost my I lost my guy. I'm so cut. I'm, abs I'm, oh, I'm so disappointed that I lost my Mr. Fister. He was strong. I didn't even get to use his special ability today, which is a giant, like, fist attack. It was like 2 million damage, man. But nope, it wasn't meant to be, I suppose. It was not meant to be. Ah, oh, man, man, man. I, I'm, 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 guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm such a failure. I'm sorry I'm such a disappointment. But this is, this, this is who I am, okay? You can, re you can remove me from the stupid, but you can't remove the stupid from me. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> Either ways. Things can still go horribly wrong here. Yes, we are absolutely pulverizing this trike. Not that you can see it because there's numbers everywhere, but this is what it looks like underneath. Um, also, my health is getting annihilated. But if we get any close to any of these crazy manticores, these little RG minions, um, we are going to get dismounted again. We're pretty much just going to repeat what just went down. So we're trying very hard. Well, I'm trying very hard to just stay where we are. I know there's one over there. I can see the health bar on it. Um, so let's just... We're getting close. So... Let's just finish this thing up and then I can get out of this, this desert. I absolutely hate this desert. Let's drop a little gas cloud on our buddy. I need a health potion because my guy's getting pulverized. But this is it. Home stretch. Home stretch. Also, how many, look how much health these minions have, just for the record. 100, over 100 million. Well, unfortunately for them, their, their master is, is gone. <laughs> All right. And that's that, okay? Another one of these bosses down. Now, let me get myself out of here. I hate this place, man. I don't know why everything spawns in the desert, but it does. And there's... Well, yeah, that's just the way this way it goes, I suppose. <laughs> Anyways, let's have a little look in here, hey? We got another Megapithecus saddle, but we got this bad boy right here, which is nowhere near as good as my current volcanic helmet. We also got the third Trix severed heads. It's kind of crazy when you think about it but we got we got the severed head of the track i think uh also while we're out here let's actually go and rescue our manticore because well i don't know we might need him today who knows who knows I, well yeah I, I don't know i don't know i don't know somebody knows though but let's just uh i guess we'll just all teleport back to base together okay i think it'd be a nice little nice little activity to do let's all go home Yay! Woohoo! Yippee! Yeah, all right. Ah, uh, all right. Let's continue the journey of filling this base up with more and more dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs can you cram into? A, a, well, I wouldn't even call this a base. I, I, I don't even want to call it a base because it, it's hardly a base. What do you even do with this place at this stage? Really? This is, it's a pile of trash is what it is. Maybe we just build up the walls. Maybe I go and I don't even have a bed in my base. That's how, that's how nasty it is. 
I don't even have a little pet Joe, but do, do you want to go to my new do Bob Ross? Do you want to go to my you want to go to my my house? Here you go. Okay. There. You, oh, oh, can't even get you in my house. We get in there. Now it's a home. Not quite though. Like I, I haven't even I haven't I haven't even got a fridge yet. Should we? Add, you know what? I think it's time we we do some of those things. I think it's time we get crafting of a few little structures here. Let's make this place nice and cozy. Uh, I can't even do that because I don't have a fabricator or nothing. I don't even have a. Hey, oh wait, wait. Where is my replicator? I've lost the plot. What, what, did, what did I do with all my stuff? We got a few little bits and bobs here, but none of which are really. All right. You know what? I got. I know what we need to do. We're going to open up the transfer function with my little thing here. <laughs> this base sucks so bad. This base sucks so bad. Let's go and grab all of our stuff. And then we shall move it into here. Or apparently not. Wait a second. Where's all my stuff? Where is all my stuff? Wait. Oh, it's in my other smithy. It's in there. Okay. We just had to... I picked the wrong source. But now... Now we've got all that stuff over here. All right. Now, if I were to want to place my replicator, would it fit? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. But I could place it up here. Kind of. Is that a terrible look? What does that look like? If I were to... Makes no sense. I know that. But if I were to want to place you up there, it's kind of like stuck in the rock. But then like if you power it, does anybody need to know any better? No, I think it actually... I think that works, to be honest. I can just look up to it. And you know what? This is the best idea ever for... A yeah, I like it, actually. These things are so big and obnoxious. They take up your entire base. Except this one, I can... I can like, it doesn't take up any space. Look. I can run underneath it. And it's still functional. I can still look up to it and craft in it. Nice. I like this a lot. All right. I want a refrigerator. Let's get one of them. Um, I'm just gonna put it's gonna just gonna bring all my fridgy stuff over. In fact, look, I can place my fridge. Oh, it won't actually let me wait. What really? Oh, wait, no, it will. It will. It will. Is this going to is that gonna are we gonna have issues? No, I can still I can still use this and I can use my fridge. Nice. All right, this is like um, getting creep. What's the word I'm looking for? Innovation. This is innovation. I'm innovating, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you proud of me oh boy no no you can't you can't be proud of me if i'm disappointed in myself but anyways now we've got all of our little stuff over here so i can drop my little kibbles and my flowers and all that fun stuff in there we go clear out the inventory a bit um i'm actually thinking of moving my dodecurus into the base since he's like my grinder like it kind of makes sense to do that i think um hold on buddy where do you think you're going oh no Okay, I can go, I'm going to have to grab all those, move them into there, okay, and then my little dody. now I want you to face me, mate, I want you to face me, hold on, we'll go and slit you in this corner, whoop, I'll set you to follow, that way you don't walk away, put those in there, and alright, now he's back to grinding, I think, so, take those, take those, Turn them into nice resources for me. Thank you very much. I don't have anything more for you to break down, unfortunately. Oh, and I never demonstrated my helmet. I wonder if this shows through my bunny suit. It does not show through my bunny suit. Let's take our bunny suit off. This is the tri... Yeah, that's sick. You know what? Bunny suit. I bid you farewell. Easter's over, mate. Time to get gone, I suppose. Also, can you break down my helmet? Oh, it can. I didn't actually want you to. I was just asking the question. <laughs> hey, I wonder... You can break down that. I wonder if you can break down some of these special saddles too. It did, but I, I think it was like literally like fiber wooden hide or something. That wasn't that special at all. Either ways, cool. Thank you very much, mate. Um, Who else? You know what? I probably should bring you into my base as well, mate. My, my Anki over here. This guy's our smelter. He's like a giant furnace. So it makes sense to bring you in too, I think. And I guess I you had nothing of use on you anyway. So I'll leave that all there. And you can sit over here under my manticore's foot. All right, buddy. Need you to just nudge on over a touch. Not to mention the Titan is 
kind of standing on my base a little bit as well um but hey at least our base has function <laughs> i can say that for the first time this series Whee! okay cool we totally did not have enough space for all of this but whatever all right there we go so we got our forge and we got our grinder lovely okay you two just you just just sit tight also my chemistry bench where's he at my frog where's my little beasel buffo i don't even know if i still got one is he still alive my little busily buffet. Oh, he's over here. I can see his name. Oh, there he is. I thought you were just like a little turd on the floor. Um, can I get you a saddle? By any chance? It appeals that I can. All right, you're coming into the base, buddy. You're coming in as well. I'm going to put you right between the two of them. All right. Now we've got the little trifecta. Perfect. Bam. Love it. All right, nice. I'm kind of stuck, but eh. Let me out of here fantastic all right um cool all right well we got all of these guys down so that's really really nice i guess we should uh bump up their crafting skills if we got a few little levels up our sleeve you can have some too and then you can have nothing because you're maxed out already you can break these down for me though if you like all right cool the base is looking better i was gonna say good it's not looking good the base is a pile of trash but it's better improvements are being made now, I was just going to quickly grab some stone walls just to make it look a little bit better. <laughs> and by better, I was just going to build up some walls a little bit. I can't even place them in the right spots, though, apparently. All right, yeah, place you over there. We'll go, like, three high or something. Yeah, why not? There we go. Uh, over there. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Now we're talking. We're improvements. Imp <laughs> I'm really just trying to like give myself a pat on the back and make myself feel better, but it's all for nothing because I know, I know at the end of the day, it's all trash. Look, should we head out and see what we can do against these next level bosses? I really wouldn't mind facing one or at least trying to face one, but like we kind of experienced the other day, it's going to be a rough time. And I don't really, you know what? Maybe we're not ready yet to face it, but maybe we should think about who we're going to use to face it. We've got a few guys here. We've got our Primal Manticore, for example. Absolute machine. Um, he's been a pretty good boss hitter until now, but against them, he's not going to have the advantage of flying. So he's going to get stuck. So is old Mothra over here. I think in the past, a Glacial Gig has been a bit, like pretty good kind of asset. But this time around, I think he's been nerfed. I don't think he is quite what we remember him being. We've also got these guys over here. They're pretty tough beings as well, but are they tough enough? I don't think so. I think though, what I am going to go on... You know what? Let's do it right this second. I think what I'm going to go looking for is a Dodo Wyvern. We had one in the past. It was really, really good until we got it killed. Like everything else, we seem to get killed. I think we need to go back and do that because I'll be honest, I don't think any of these guys are really going to make a big difference for us. So I think we're going to need a Dodo Wyvern. I think I'm going to break down a... Oh, I'll break this one down. We obviously got to sacrifice one of these to get the Tamer stuff. So let's um, let's do that. Craft up the little Tamer Rooney stuff. And then I'm going to take my Manticore. He is my dedicated knockout artist. And we're going to go and do this. Let's do it. I think it's time. I think it's time. That's all there is to it. We need... Dodo Wyvern. Or, oh, I mean, at the end of the day, hold on a second. There are other options here. Indominus Rex, they're pretty... Yeah, they don't really excite me. Dodo Rex, perhaps? There's a pretty high level one out there. Maybe, actually. And then they got the Dodo Wyverns. We got two max level Dodo Wyverns out there. Okay. You know what? We're going to teleport out here. Because that's the direction we got to go. And we'll, we'll, we'll just have a look. Okay, if we can get a level 828 Dodo Wyvern, like there's got to be something impressive about that, right? Like it, it's a pretty high level. Anyways, we'll, we'll go and fight it. We'll see what we can do with it. I think it was at like 30, 32. So he should be just out here somewhere. Ish. Over here. East. 30, 32, roughly. Am I going the wrong way? Maybe he's down. Oh no, wait, whoa. Wait, what's that? Deviant Lystrix. Hello? You look kind of funky. You want to die? Are you like the manticores that we've been fighting recently? 
I'm, if, if, if you are, I'm going to stay and keep my distance. Oh, all right. That was kind of <laughs> set off like a massive explosion. Uh, we got some stuff for it, but I don't know what any of this is. Okay. That's an interesting description. We actually got bionic kibble for that. We got a trophy loot crate that gave me element ore and metal. Oh, 3000 metal for that. Nice. Uh, you can't harvest it though. Well, not with my man's car at least. All right, that's cool. Hey, if all I got out of that was 3,000 metal, I'm a happy boy. Great. <gasps> Maybe what we need to try is a Reaper. Maybe that's the missing piece to the puzzle. All right. Maybe I need to rethink my approach here. Don't know why heaven's a great and all. Maybe we can push that off until tomorrow. But if you're unfamiliar with my previous Pugnacia playthroughs, whenever we get impregnated by a Reaper, we end up with a very, very strong baby Reaper. I think we need to... I think I need a baby Reaper. I, th I think I need a baby Reaper. Okay. You know what? New plan. New plan. That's it. We're going to do it. We are finally going to do it. I need to locate a strong Reaper female. I guess we're just going to look at the maximum levels. There's a few in the desert, but there's... Should we just go to the desert again? Are we really bad? No, we're going to go here. 47, 46. I'm going to see if we can find this one here. I'm going to sit down next to it, and I'm going to let her have her way with me. And we're going to... We're going <laughs> to... Uh, wait, wait. Did I say 47, 46? I think I did. Which means she should be down here. We're going to have a baby, guys. <laughs> We're going to have a baby. We're not yet. We're not. I need to go and meet my, my partner first. Um, oh, is that it? Oh, that's it. There she is. There she is. Um, okay. 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 All right. Well, let's do it. No. Okay. Uh, I got to wish you passive. Otherwise, you're going to interrupt the shenanigans. Um, let's do this thing. Where is she? Oh, really? You're gonna, you're gonna come and get involved? I'm bleeding. Don't let me bleed. Where's my queen? My queen, where are you? I saw you here a second ago. I saw you burrow. Where did you go? Where did you go? I need you. Actually, I don't know where she went. She like just disappeared. My queen. All right, let me, uh, let me hop up here in the sky again. Oh, she was coming to say hey! My queen! Yo, I'm good. I, 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 come, I, come here. Come here. Would you like to give me a... Yes! It's happening! Why does it always get so janky when this... Wow! Oh, no. You ran us. No. You ran us. You ran us. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh, I've got my baby. We can go now. We can go. Ah, ah. Can we go? Go away, you ran us. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Well, cool. All right, that's that. We're pregnant. We're having a baby in 15 minutes. <laughs> but we got to go do a little bit of killing first, which is happening really, really quickly. Um, we got to get this little baby nice and strong and leveled up. We got to show it what it means to be a killer because that is its entire purpose of its life. It needs to be a killing machine. So we'll just go and uh, chew up the old snow snow dinos for a second. I can already see that my baby is, is learning. He's learning quick. He's at level 260, 280. We got Re Look, the Reapers don't even want me to have the baby. Well, unlucky for you, it's too late, okay? Oh my gosh, wait, it's still leveling up. It's plus 324. Wait, how high does this thing go? I think that might be maxed out. All right, the thing's gaining more than 300 levels out of me. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We got another one out here. This is to spawn. These guys are just the weak ones. These aren't the queens. You're a you're a phony. You're a phony. But goodbye anyways. All right. I've got what I came for anyways. I don't know why we're wasting time now. Let's go home. I have a baby to prepare for. <laughs> uh, I think this is the first time of all of our Pugnacia playthroughs where I've intentionally gone out and been taken down by a reaper queen normally normally we just run into them by accident normally they don't like spawn in weird places they kind of just spawn everywhere but uh this time around we had to go and look for, we, like it was a last resort basically also really quickly i gotta show my reaper what we do to the raptors around the base we get rid of they, they don't belong on my little beach here 
So we um we we got we got we got 13 minutes. I need to uh I need to set up a little pen for it because it's gonna come out, it's gonna pop itself. When it's born, it's gonna be it's they're aggressive. They're aggressive. That's what that's what I'm trying to say here. So I need a small little small little room. Little uh, nursery, a good little nursery, so it doesn't get too aggressive. Um, I'm gonna need maybe another one of those. Okay, we're gonna need a. Should we get a window? Should we get a window? That way I can I can see in, and maybe like a. Did I craft that? And maybe like a, a door frame and a little door as well, just for good luck. Grab one of you, and one of you, and where am I gonna build this? I don't know. I don't, I'm running out of room. Maybe I'll build it over here in the original little platform area up here okay we'll make it feel oh this is perfect we can make it feel nice and cozy it's being born in a loving caring very friendly environment that's right we're finally turning this little house into exactly what it was meant to be a house <laughs> let's go and build it up just in case he tries to escape as well i don't know i don't know there we go all right i feel i feel like this is this is a nice little humble abode Put a little doorway there. Um, what else does that little baby need? Nothing. We probably put some ceilings on, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. And, um, well, oh, 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 you know what? I got 12 minutes to wait out, so we may as well just go and pop one of these fellas down. I got some time to kill. There we go. And, um, well, yeah, we, 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 we yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should go and get into some more appropriate clothing. As I am about to uh, give birth. To a little alien baby. Am I showing yet? Actually, let's have a look. Do I got a little, I got a little belly? Oh, my belly's kind of, it's kind of, my abs are kind of deflating a little. It's kind of, it's kind of there. <laughs> oh, anyways, um, guys, I think I'm gonna rest up. I've got a big day ahead of me. The birth of my little baby. So, I'm gonna call this one here. But tomorrow, we're gonna give birth to a reaper baby. I'm gonna grow this thing into a beautiful big reaper. I'm gonna see if it is the defining factor between us and dealing more damage to take down these big old Pugnacia bosses. But until next time, guys, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. Tomorrow is the day. I'll catch you then. Bye. Fun.